When a stock goes up 60% inside of a month, there's usually a very good reason, and that wisdom definitely holds true at battery startup QuantumScape. It has seen its stock surge 60% this month on what appears to be a, a big breakthrough on the solid state battery front. Let's bring in QuantumScape founder and CEO Jang, Jagdeep Singh for more on this. Jagdeep, good to uh, see you this morning here. So a lot of us here at Yahoo Finance have been following uh, the news flow uh, at your company the past few weeks. The stock has gone through the roof. Uh, what exactly have you achieved or, or announced and with this breakthrough on the solid state battery front and, and when will it start to get produced? Yeah, Brian, so this, the, um, the, 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 the solid state battery has been something that's been pursued for probably 45 years since the mid seventies. In fact, when uh, Stan Whittingham won the Nobel prize in chemistry for the lithium ion battery last year, uh, uh, was doing his work. He was actually trying to invent the solid state lithium metal battery, uh, but no one has been able to make uh, a, a solid state electrolyte, which is the material through which lithium ions move uh, for, for over that period of time. That's what we have uh, finally achieved. And the results that we showed last week uh, demonstrated that we can actually uh, run these batteries under real world operating conditions, you know, uh, reasonable temperatures, high cycle lives, uh, fast rates of charge and power, uh, you know, all simultaneously. And that, that was really what was, uh, what was the exciting news. So when will, the, uh, uh, when will these batteries start to be produced and, and what do you have to do to, to start producing them at scale? Because I think the market is looking at, at it like, wow, you know, these batteries are going to be on the market in a, in a year or two. Yeah, so um, unfortunately, it takes a long time to get batteries uh, in, into the market for two reasons. One is uh, we got to scale up production, we got to build factories, uh, and two is um, the automotive qualification cycle is is rather lengthy, and we are targeting the EV space uh, as as you mentioned earlier. Um, the 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 fundamental technology itself, though, uh, has been run by our automotive customers in their labs, so we know the technology works. Uh, we have what are called single layer cells. Uh, which have all the chemistry in them, uh, but you know now the, the focus is really going to be around uh, scaling up and getting production going. The good news is uh, with the technology that 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 uh, is known to work, the customer that's uh, already out there committing to to buy the product, and that's Volkswagen, the world's largest uh, car company by shipments, um, and the cash balance that we have as a result of uh, going public over the last couple of weeks, we have a billion dollar balance sheet. We have all the pieces in place, so. Uh, you know, um, uh, it's clearly there's, you know, we got, we got work to do. It's not shipping today. Uh, so, you know, uh, that, I want to make that clear. Uh, but at the same time, we believe that the task ahead, uh, you know, is is uh, uh, it's quite doable given all the pieces that, that we have in place. Jack, Dave, it's Julie here. So as um, hey, these eventually get deployed and start to go into vehicles, is this something that can just replace um, a battery that's in there today? Or does the car have to actually be reconfigured so it's able to work with a solid state battery? Yeah, it's a great question. So typically the way an automotive pack works is you have a pack, it's typically broken down into modules. And then within the modules, you have individual automotive cells. Uh, so the idea here is that our cells will replace conventional cells, uh, but at the module level, it will be the same module. So effectively, uh, it's a relatively um, a straightforward uh, drop-in. Uh, obviously, there will be some, some adjustments, but there isn't a dramatic change. The electrical uh, behavior of the battery uh, is very similar to today's batteries because it uses the same cathode material, which is the, the, the positive electrode. Uh, so overall, uh, the, the battery is, uh, is more energy dense, which means you need less volume and less mass, which does simplify the design. Uh, you know, it's um, uh, it's uh, 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 somewhat safer because it uses a solid electrolyte, which replaces the polymer separator, which is flammable. So that can simplify some of the cooling aspects and some of the overall design. So if anything, uh, it, it's somewhat easier to design the battery in uh, if it's solid state uh, than it is with conventional uh, lithium ion batteries. Jack Deep, uh, Volkswagen was an, has been an early backer uh, of QuantumScape. They own 31% of your outstanding shares. Have you have you had a conversation with them about them just simply buying you out and bringing you in, in bring inside their house? Because given the technology you have, I can't imagine Volkswagen would want that technology in competitor cars. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, at the end of the day, our ambition, our, our vision has been to try to um, uh, really enable a, a greater penetration of EVs into the market. We, we think that, you know, you in order to address the emissions problem, the, the, the carbon problem, you have to attack transportation. Uh, 
Uh, and to address transportation, you need a battery that's more competitive with the combustion engine. Uh, we think the solid state battery really has a chance uh, to narrow that gap between uh, EVs and, and combustion engine based vehicles. So our mission really is to be a supplier to the industry as a whole. You know, VW has been a great partner over the years. We've been, we've partnered with them since 2012. Um, uh, you know, the, and they understand that. So they're, you know, the deal we have with them is not exclusive. Uh, they they will be the first uh, automakers uh, in the world uh, with these um, uh, with these batteries, uh, but they understand that we uh, you know uh, uh, can and will ship to other other suppliers, and that actually helps them in the long run. You know, uh, it increases volume for the whole industry, uh, more standardization. So you know, in the long run, uh, this is a win for for everybody. Jack, I have uh, 15 seconds left. In one word, how would you explain the past two weeks for you on a, on a personal level to see your stock essentially go through the roof? Yeah, I mean, it's been super exciting in, in one way. On the other hand, you know, I, I don't claim to be, a, you know, a, a, someone who could predict near-term stock market behavior. You know, our focus really is to keep our, you know, uh, uh, you know our nose to the grindstone, head down, uh, and, and bring these batteries into real cars, uh, you know, uh, on real roads as fast as we can. And if we can do that, uh, we think there's an opportunity to create a tremendous amount of value, uh, regardless of, of what the short-term stock price does. All right, we'll leave it there. QuantumScape uh, founder Thanks, and CEO, Jagdeep Singh. Good to see you. Have a good rest of the week. Thanks, Brian. Great to be here.